Hey everyone, Paul here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the most effective way to plant your flowers to get hybrids. So, I've cleared out a big area here. I had this set up yesterday, but all the holes have gone. And I've got a big area here. I've also been to the shop, as you can see, and we've got white hyacinth bags. So what we're going to do, we're going to carry on. We're going to go for a time lapse. We're going to dig some holes and we're going to come back. All right, there we have it. So we've got our six by seven area here. You can see that it's in the checkerboard pattern. Now, a lot of people recommend this checkerboard pattern. And in the six by seven, we can plant 21 flowers. Whereas if we go with this pattern here, which is a bit of a modified checkerboard pattern, you can plant 22 flowers in the same area. So you can pack them more densely. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a test over the same amount of time. We're gonna water them every single day. We're going to see which is giving us the quickest hybrids and which is giving us the most. And then by the end of the video, we're going to be having a decisive answer of the most efficient way to get hybrid flowers. So again, we're going to go back to the time lapse. We're going to plant them all up. All right, there we go, it's all planted. Now, I know in the comments section, you're gonna say that I didn't need to dig the holes to plant them, but I just dug the holes because it's a better way of showing the pattern that I was gonna do. You can't really see it until you've got flowers spawning here. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go and water them every day, and then we're gonna come back with a bit of um, an update video throughout the week, maybe. But you can see here, now the theory behind planting two together is these two, will cross pollinate and then we've got all of this spawning space for the flowers. They'll also cross pollinate on the diagonals as well as next to each other. So it just gives you a bigger spawning area. So all of this area around the outside will be used. In theory, we may find out different at the end of the week, but all the outside area will be used for spawning flowers. Whereas when we look at the checkerboard pattern, you're not gonna get any spawning going on on the outside because these flowers here and here will not cross pollinate so the the, the cross pollination will happen on the diagonals and you'll get a flower in here but you've got more chance 
you've got four flowers here that can cross pollinate to give you one flower so maybe this will give you faster results and the other one will give you more we're gonna find out at the end of the week I'm gonna go ahead and water these now and go and water them every single day you can see I think did Antonio come along and water this one you can see it's sparkling need to make sure that every single flower is sparkling that's the way to know that it's been watered we'll catch you again later on all right so we're back with a little bit of a progress update it's day two I've been I've watered all of the plants you can see them all sparkling there they've started to get buds on now on this side of the bridge as well I've done the exact same thing they've been watered twice they've all shining they've all got buds on now I thought well while we're doing this experiment I thought what happens if you plant them in rows so the spawning spaces are to the left and to the right you're not getting a diagonal crossbreeding if that's a thing we're gonna find out this is turning into a bit of a myth busting video so I've watered these once so these are a day behind the other two we'll be joining you again later on in the week to see what happens all right so we're checking in it's Thursday 10 past 1 in the afternoon and I've just been selling as you can see I've got a lot of bells there so I've been selling all my turnips they're all gone as you can see we've got stone that spawned and we've got our first hybrid flower this blue one right here now these are a day behind don't forget this long strip but we don't have anything that's spawned here so I'm a bit surprised I thought this one would have been quicker but it's not so as you can see now if you want the quickest spawn rate then basically a, a square of four or a diamond of four and one in the middle will give you the quickest spawning but what we're going to do is we're going to dig this one up we're going to move it out the way we're going to take a, a bit of a tally with them there we go dig that put it over also i had a comment in my previous video about rocks taking up more than one space as you can see there that rock has spawned in exactly one space and it's given us some gold so i'm going to go ahead and move that rock as well do a little bit of clearing up because we want this to be as as scientific as we possibly can so i'm going to go ahead now clean things up and we'll catch you again tomorrow right so it's saturday morning we're back now i thought bring you back i didn't do a progress update last time when we got them but here now i thought it was quite interesting on this side where we've got the checkerboard pattern we've got one two three new ones whereas if we go over to the other side we've got one two three four five so this has given us over onto saturday this has given us more it's given us a lot more of a yield later on in the week now it'll be interesting tomorrow if it gives us the same amount or if it slows down again it might just be a fluke on the straight ones we've not had any not had any today unfortunately so I'm going to dig these up now, I'm going to get water in and then we're going to go back on Sunday and we'll see what happens. All right, so we're back once more checking the island. It is now Sunday afternoon and we've got, what have we got here? We've got one, two, two new ones on this side. We've also had, because I've put them in this style of pattern, we've got two new ones that have spawned here. So just so that we're not confusing things, I'm going to put that one down there 
No, we're not. Because that'll interfere with these guys at the bottom. So we're going to put that one. We're going to stand here. And then this one can go here. Now we're also going to dig these two up. Because we don't want them spoiling our results at the end. So this one and this one. Oops. And where can we put them? Let's put them over here. Okay, so we've got a grand total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on there. Now this one on the strip, we haven't had any new spawns. So we've only had one spawn in the entire go. This one, we've had no new spawns on here. But we have got a rock. But on this side, we've got one. We'll do with the holes in a minute. Two. Three. So this one's giving us more. Eat. Uh oh. So this style on the right hand side is giving us more over a, a, a longer period. So we've got... Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've had nine from here. Three of them have been blue flowers. Whereas if we go onto the other side, We've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and only one blue flower. So this seems to be the most efficient way to do the planting. We'll come back tomorrow, we'll give it a full week, we'll give it a full seven days and we'll see what's happening. But to me that looks like the way on the right hand side is looking like the most efficient way. We'll catch you all later. All right, we're back. We're on the final day now. We're on Monday the 4th of May. We've gone for a full week, as you can see. Let's just get our shovel. Let's have a tally up. Alright, so, the grand total, when you've done the cross hatch, we have had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's just count that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 10 when we're in the cross hatch. Let's go onto this side. We have had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So we've had 10 on both. So, rates wise, there's no difference to plant in this way as to plant in the other way. Space wise, you've got a 7x6 area here. You've also got a 7x6 area here. And you've got one more plant if you're planting it in this style here. This style, you can pack them in more densely. You've also got spawning spaces around the outside here. Whereas on the other one, you don't. You only have the spawning spaces, sp the spawning spaces inside. So if you want to be more efficient with your planting, do it this way. Now, if you're planting plants to get hybrids, they need to be under certain conditions for them to spawn. And they are, they need to be planted next to each other, either in a diagonal or side by side. They need to be fully bloomed, so they need to be flowering like this. They need to have been watered. Now you can either do that yourself or you can do it by the grain. I recommend doing it by yourself. And there needs to be an empty space adjacent to them. So anywhere around here. Now between these two you're going to get something spawning here. You're not going to get something spawning on the outer edges. 
So with that said, this is the most efficient way to plant if you're looking for how dense you can plant. plant uh, how dense, I shouldn't have had a drink before recording this. <laughs> how dense you can pack them, then go this way. Now, if you want to increase your chance of a flower spawning, because that is a thing, what you need to do is you need to get flowers. There we go. So if you want to increase the chance of a flower spawning a hybrid like we've got here, then if you get visitors onto your island and get them to water them, now, if you water them yourself and you're the only person, then they've got a 5% chance of spawning a new hybrid. And that's why over the same amount of time, we've had the same amount of flowers spawning, regardless of the pattern that you're planting them. And if you get one visitor, it's 25%. Two visitors, 35%. I don't need to read it out. It's on the screen right now. So that's, if you basically, if you want a hybrid spawning, get five visitors to come and water your plants. I recommend packing as many as you can in an area like this, supplying everyone with watering cans because they're not gonna to want to bring their own and then go crazy. Let everybody go along and water the plants. Now on screen as well, you'll see all the different combinations to give you every single hybrid. We've just sort of stuck to this one flower. We've just stuck to, what is it? The hyacinths gone for the white hyacinths all around so I'm gonna have to go and find somewhere to put these now on my island once again just to recap there's no difference if you're planting like this if you're planting like this or if you're planting like this you're gonna get the same amount of spawns regardless now we have seen a lower spawn rate here which does get me a bit curious but from what I've seen if you've got a cross hatch this way or a staggered cross hatch, it makes no difference. You're only being efficient with space. The way to get more flowers is by more people coming to your island and watering them. So make sure you get up to five visitors and that's pretty much a guarantee that you'll get a hybrid. Hope you found today useful. I know that I have. I've, I've learned a little bit here. I know that if you're just densely packing the flowers like this, then that's the best way to save space but it really doesn't matter how you're going to pack them in. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, leave a like and let me know down on the comments section what your flower is from your island. I've got higher simps. I've got too many. And we'll see you all in the next video. Take care.